we want to get right to Hurricane Dorian. Category 5 storm hitting the Bahamas, heading for the southeast. One of the strongest Atlantic hurricanes in recorded history, compact but fierce. And that's why mandatory evacuations are already in place from Florida all the way up to North Carolina. And the storm leaving so much devastation in its path. Take a look at this apartment building on Abaco Island completely destroyed. Here's what this Category 5 storm looks like from the International Space Center's camera. And take a look at this image chilling, showing what it's like directly inside the eye of that storm. That's the eye right now, but the winds are fierce. Here's what we know. Dorian has made landfall in the Bahamas three times so far as a Category 5 storm. Winds up to 185 miles an hour. The National Hurricane Center says it's tied with the 1935 Labor Day storm for the strongest hurricane to make landfall in the Atlantic. We have team coverage all across the storm zone. Ginger starts us off from Jupiter, Florida, far from the Bahamas. Ginger, but the wind's already starting. Oh, we've seen gusts just south of here to nearly 50 miles per hour already, George, and I'm already feeling the sand blasting my face. The bands of rain coming in, those outer bands of the storm that is still more than 100 miles to my east-southeast, barely moving. That thing is inching over the Grand Bahama Island right now at only one miles per hour. But that is good for the east coast of Florida and Georgia and South Carolina because the slower it goes, the more time it has to make that fateful turn to the north. So let's go ahead and see that track, which still takes it east of the coast of Florida. Does that mean you have no impacts? Obviously not. I'm standing here 100 miles away from it, and you're already feeling it. Hurricanes are not just a single point. They are broad. You can feel hurricane force winds 45 miles outside of the center of that. Look how slowly it moves. We'll still be talking right here tomorrow about the impacts up to Cape Canaveral by Wednesday morning and eventually Thursday into Friday, South Carolina up to North Carolina. This is going to be a long story. We are in a hurricane warning here in Jupiter up to Cape Canaveral. Hurricane watches extend to the Georgia state line, even Orlando in a tropical storm force watch. And look at this. People are asking me all over social media, why hasn't it moved? How is it going to turn north? It doesn't look like it will. They're very unnerved, as well you should be. You've got those two high-pressure systems that are steering this, or a lack of steering. That's why it has stalled out. But eventually, it'll sink back to the south, that Bermuda High, and start to help move it to the north and east. Most of those spaghetti plots do take it along the coast. We could still see four to seven feet of storm surge, certainly some rain, and definitely those gusty winds. So we can absolutely have impacts here along the coast of Florida and beyond. But right now, let me tell you that that Grand Bahama Island has been dealing with this for more than eight hours. I was in Michael last year at Category 5 for about an hour in the eye wall. They've been in it for nearly 12 by the time this thing is over with. You've got to see these pictures. Please pray for us. Please pray for us, everyone. Please pray for us. Dorian, the most powerful storm ever in recorded history to hit the Bahamas. Roaring into the Northern Island Sunday with a 185 mile per hour wind, gusts potentially to 220 miles per hour. Wind gusts of 200 miles per hour. You can see what it's doing here and off in the distance, those waves crashing against the pier. The wind so strong, our team, including Marcus Moore, heading inside. Look at that. Those are the wind gusts that we have, that we have seen and that have, officials have warned about. This is absolutely a mind-blowing event that is unfolding right now. One of the hardest hit islands, Abaco. Homes shredded, this video capturing the utter destruction. Oh my God, Angie. The violent winds ripping off roofs, toppling trees, and of course, taking power and cell service. The furious rain and intense storm surge flooding streets. Jack Pittard of Lexington, Kentucky, owns a home in the Bahamas. He sent us this video diary. Look at the roofing going. And I'm worried about the structure next. Look at all the siding torn off of this house. Boats flipped, homes shredded. The devastation all too evident in this neighborhood. The water so high you can only see the rooftops. We've seen large pieces of debris flying in the other direction. All right, and it looks like we've just uh, lost power. This slow moving storm just crawling, still torturing Grand Bahama this morning. 
Now I know that a lot of people have friends and family, not just in the Bahamas, but certainly here in Florida, and you're concerned about this track. We, of course, have folks all the way up and are going to be covering it. But I, again, can't emphasize enough that it is going to be weeks, if not months, before we get into the Bahamas to be able to get to what that type of damage can do. Guys, watching the satellite uh, was very upsetting last night. Uh, barely slept, and I can't imagine what it's like out there. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.